The Tweed Valley is the fastest growing destination in Scotland for mountain biking. There's something for everyone from balance bikes all the way up to your seasoned pro. All right, all right. This series showcases my favorite trails in Scotland. I'm creating it sustainably by planting more trees, giving back to the trail associations, and offsetting all our journey emissions. Okay, we're on. Woo! In this episode, we're gonna be riding the trails around Glentress, exploring the golfie, and doing some downhill laps at Innerleithen. Glentress was the first established mountain bike destination in Scotland and it's just developed. The whole Tweed Valley has gone crazy for biking. We're at the infamous Glentress Freeride Park. This place brings back so many memories. I used to come here for a weekend, just work my way through the jumps, going bigger and bigger, getting those tail tops flatter and flatter. a weekend trip down to the borders. Shaped jumps, multiple levels, so you could actually build up your skill. It was truly epic. It was called cross country back then. It was way before enduro was a discipline. And you're doing it on hardtails. There was no suspension, and it would be a day out. It'd be a massive mission. All right, I've done the free ride park. Hit the jumps, can't not come and do an obligatory lap of berm, baby berm. It's a blue trail, super fun, flowy, just nicely wind its way through the forest. And basically anyone can come and ride it from balance bikes to, well, someone like myself who can have just as much fun on it. Maybe one day I'll be here with my daughter. out the classic Glentress trails, now we're going to go on to some of the more hand-cut ones. They've been built for the Enduro World Series, they've got a legacy behind them, they're a bit more raw, they're rugged, and they're out there. <laughs> On a trail called Thunderstruck and you've got these amazing hand-built berms that are just so fun. So we're just having a bit of a session. And the diversity in Glentress is just, oh, this world. EWS trails, black trails, blue trails, free ride trails, and then huge hand cut berms like this. Sick, bro. The other side of mountain biking that I love is maintaining my bike. Washing it after I've been riding, looking after it, checking it over, giving it a good service, and all that helps with increasing the longevity of your bike. It sounds simple, but looking after those parts means that they're gonna last longer and makes you a more sustainable rider. 
The Golfie has really grown to be its own riding location within Innerleithen. It's really thanks to the Enduro World Series, it's truly been put on the map for mountain biking. It used to just be a locals only scene. I'd go down, you'd hear in the grapevine perhaps about a new trail, you could spend an afternoon searching it out. Avalanche, well, it lives up to its name. It's steep, it's shaly, it's loose, and you've got big views over Innerleithen. The golfy climb was something that used to put a lot of people off riding there. You'd be riding through bog, sludge, it was pretty technical, there was loads of routes. Now it's got a specific climbing trail up through the woods which has been added just this year, it's amazing. Get to the top, you've got huge panoramic views right across the Scottish borders. On a clear day it is absolutely stunning up there and you've got such a massive selection of trails to choose from. New York, New York on the Golfy is probably one of the most famous trails on the hillside. You've got really fast flowing turns at the top. And you dive into the trees. Oh, it gets so dark and tech in here. What? That was New York, New York. So much fun. It's fast flowing, tight in the trees, which is what the Golfie is really famous for. Now, let's get back up to the top for another one. Second base kind of gives off those bike park vibes. It's got big turns, it's all hand built, you can link them so well, and then as soon as you get into the woods, it drops away super steep. Section, man, that is so sick. The Tweed Valley as a destination for mountain biking has grown massively over the last number of years. I've been going there since I started riding, which is almost 20 years, hard to believe or no, but <laughs> Innerleithen has developed so quickly as a result of the mountain bikers who have moved there, who are visiting there. And one of my favorite things to do when I'm there is go and have a coffee at number one. Craig, the barista at number one, is a bit of a character and does amazing flat whites. Delicious coffee, amazing cake, so tasty. The downhill riding at Innerleven is a classic venue. It's hosted multiple Scottish races, national races, European events, and I've got so many memories of riding here. I used to come down, use the uplift service, train for downhill, do downhill races, it's a classic. We've been to the enduro trails over in the Golfie, but what really established Innerleithen on the mountain bike map 
was the downhill trails. And this is where we are. We're at the famous road gap. My first memory of the road gap is I was standing up at the top of the wall, looking down at it, thinking that is absolutely massive. I was 12 years old at the time and it definitely gave me the fear. Coming back here, it's so cool to see that it's still here. It's got heritage, it's got history. And let's see if I can still clear it. story the very first ever mountain bike race I took part in winter wet and wild 2002 which is 19 years ago right here almost the final corner of the race came down crashed I was riding a hardtail that had v-brakes fell in here there's a big muddy bog v-brake lever jammed on didn't finish the race and I say at least this time made it around the corner How the Tweed Valley has developed in the last 20 years, you could say that it's an epicenter for Scottish mountain biking. I can't wait to see what's next for it. There are some big plans. It's a perfect case study of what other destinations in Scotland could actually do to welcome mountain biking to their region. The series has come to an end. Pretty gutted. It's been amazing showcasing my favorite locations within Scotland taking the boys on some adventures and creating it sustainably. Pretty sad that it's the end of the series. And yeah, what's next? Should we start planning season two? Thank you to everyone who's watched the series. We've had some amazing feedback and there's been some great comments of people actually planning holidays or planning adventures that they want to do. If you actually go out and you ride these trails that you've seen in the series, make sure you share a photo, tag me with the hashtag Scottish Scotland Showcase. I'll repost some of my favorites and it'd be truly amazing to see you guys having the adventures and sharing the trails that we did. Thanks for watching this episode of Scotty's Scotland Showcase. All the revenue generated from you watching the series will be split between planting more trees in Scotland and the local trail associations. If you want to ride any of these trails for yourself, then be sure to check out the collection link in the description. 